The fight sequence in the high school hallway is a great example of an all CG sequence. Everything in this scene was created digitally, including the characters and the environment, and as a result, gives us lots of opportunities to do things that we normally couldn't do if we were working with pre-existing photography. The process begins by producing a digital version of the set that matches the photography and other sequences. With the digital set in place, the director works with the layout department to design the fight choreography with simple representations of the character models. This layout becomes the starting template for editorial, and from there, the animation team begins the process of executing believable performances with real weight and physics. The lizard is a massive creature with brute strength, while Spider-Man is light, quick, and agile. The physics of each character needs to be convincing, and we need to sell each of their relationships to gravity in a believable way. This kind of natural animation is tricky enough of one character, but combining two uniquely different characters in hand-to-hand -hand combat is always a challenge. Not only are we dealing with the gross weight in physics, but fine details on a smaller scale as well. Notice the flexing muscles and the tendons under the skin. These volumes are manipulated by animators, then the skin is draped over that anatomy and treated as a simulated cloth material so that you can literally see the muscles flexing and sliding underneath. The effects team studied lots of reptile references in order to duplicate the material properties of real lizard skin. It had to be loose and leathery, with enough resolution to wrinkle and fold in natural ways as the creature moves. Simulations are applied to the internal anatomy as well as the skin so that the volumes respond to external forces as well. Notice how the volumes jiggle and resonate on impact, and the collisions need to affect the environment also. A lot of destruction that you see, like damage to these lockers, were modeled in anime for a specific look, along with the damage to the walls, door jams, and other props, all of which ground the action in a believable way. Once we've fleshed the environment out with these high resolution models, further details are brought out in the surface rendering. The posters and flyers were hand painted and ID photos of Imageworks team members were substituted for the class portraits. Lighting played a key role in grounding this scene in reality and was artistically directed to support the story points, one of which is a power outage that gave us opportunities for dramatic lighting. A large window at the end of the hall became the daylight source to backlight the characters and provide bright highlights throughout the scene and light coming through the classroom doors broke up the interior and became a source to highlight key moments. Even emergency lights were used to accent the action. Because the sequence is completely digital, entirely new shots and camera work could be made even at this late stage in production. As an example, the director can take a shot like this chase across the ceiling, and with animation already complete, is able to design more compelling camera work for a series of shots that supports the action in a much more interesting and dynamic way especially when coupled with effects details like dust, debris, sparks, and atmospheric depth cueing. The final result puts audiences front and center in a dynamic balance between nuanced character animation and dramatic composition of light, color, modeling, and effects.